Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh and greetings to everyone. My name is Muhammad Nur Faisal bin Baharudin and in this video you are going to learn more about the Massive Open Online Courses or MOOC for BSR 205 Building Surveying Practice 1 which is introductory video. But before anything else, I would like to remind you to please be on your most comfortable place and of course, I demand for your attention during this learning session. Okay guys, let's take a look on course description. This subject explores the fundamental knowledge of building surveying works and profession in relation to building performance by identification and understanding the nature of building defects. It also emphasizes on the implementation of building inspection methods for low-rise buildings. For course learning outcome, at the end of the course, students should be able to first identify fundamental theory and practice of building surveying works based on code of practice for building inspection report CPBS 101. Second, Organize a method of building inspection for low-rise building by using current tools and equipment. And third, explain diagnosis of building defects and its characteristic behavioral according to building material properties which affect an overall building performance. Okay guys, how about the syllabus content? This subject is actually been designed in three main modules, which are the first one, Introduction to Building Surveying. Second, method of investigation and inspection. And third, identification of building defects. For module one, which is introduction to building surveying, this module will consist of introductory video and promotional video in week one and building surveying practice in Malaysia in week two. And then followed by types of survey and checklist, which is known as pre for preparing a survey before conducting an inspection. Furthermore, for module number two, method of investigation and inspection. This module will focusing on surveying tools and equipment, which is focusing on non-disruptive technique and QLASIC tools. And then followed by an overview of QLASIC, which is issued by CIDB and building requirement. Then for week 6 and week 7, building condition assessment will take in place. Building condition assessment or known as BCA will focusing on BARIS, building assessment rating system. And then how to make a referencing and defect indication plan. Other than that, in week number 8 and week number 9, this module will continue on condition surveying procedure and inspection procedure and then visual recording technique. Finally, for module on identification of the building defects, this module will focusing on definition on building defects and its agents and types of the building defects which is focusing on structural elements in week 10 and week 11. Then for Next topic, it will focusing on building defects number two, which is focusing on non-structural elements and building defects number three, which is focusing on building defects on mechanical and electrical, which is focusing on building services. So these are the three main module and several topic that we are going to learn for this subject. Let's move to the next slide, which is teaching methodology. In this subject, there are several methodology or approach being used. For example, interactive lecture, which consisting a series of lecture, as we mentioned earlier, a collaborative assignment and project that will be conducting in fieldwork session, and demonstration, which is hands-on experience during academic site visit. Therefore, with regards on this approach, it will ensure that all the information and knowledge are delivered successfully. Anyway, if you want to get a broad view regarding on the teaching methodology in the subject, you are encouraged to watch a video in Fieldwork which is describing on QLASIC assessment as well as 
to familiarize the using of surveying tools and equipment in building inspection and a sample of video in academic site visit which produced by our former students through the link given. For references, here are some of recommended textbooks and reference books that have been used in this subject. For example, Peter Glover 2018 Building Surveys, Christopher Gauss and Melanie Smith 2020 Title Building Surveyors Pocket Book, Duncan Marshall, Derek Worthing, and Nicol Dunn 2014, which is titled Understanding on Housing Defects, as well as Malcolm Hollis 2000, which is Surveying Building in 5th Edition and others reference book. Guys, I think that's all for today's video. I would like to thank you for joining me in this learning session. I hope that you can enjoy during this learning process and activities. See you for the next coming lecture series. Bye!